And welcome to Gold Market Updating Charts of the Day. It's 21st of August 2023. Hope you had a great weekend and great to see you on this Monday afternoon as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Mike Smith, seeing it honestly, Gold Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news right now. Of course, we saw the end of the week with a mixed session on Friday in US equities. All indices finishing close to session highs after a week start. But for the last half an hour sell, we could have seen all major indices to the upside. So a very small range session compared to what we've seen of late. US futures are just above neutral in the Asian session so far. Asian markets are mixed and the ASX is down 0.2%. Nikkei slightly outperforming at this stage in the day. European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. The VIX was up last week and technically looks quite bullish. But of course, we are near lows not seen for in excess of three years. US dollar index fairly flat. It's up slightly in Asia. Gold continues to look weak and at lows not seen since February. Did start the day slightly weaker, but has recovered somewhat during the Asian session. Copper was strong on Friday and hit had the highs for the week. Near neutral today, it's near an important level at 375 and all moves higher again, continuing a bounce off support we saw start on Thursday. Bitcoin was one of the big stories towards the back end of the week. We've got a big sell off through a support of 29,000. Since Thursday and Friday's drops, we are hovering around 26,000, pretty near neutral in Asia so far. Move through 26,000 may precipitate some more selling, perhaps. On the data front, we've already seen the People's Bank of China reduce interest rates, although not quite as much as expected, 0.1% rather than 0.15. Markets have been shouting for some degree of stimulus to go into the Chinese economy. In terms of today, very little data of note, only the German PPI of interest. Later on this week, we've got the Jackson Hole Symposium, where we've got the Fed chairman speaking on Friday. That symposium starts on Thursday. And global PMI data on Wednesday are probably worth keeping an eye on as well. A couple of charts of core RI today. On the ASX, we like Paladin. We've been talking about this stock for a little while, and you can see there it's moved up again. Really nice positive move in excess of 4% today to take us back up to 80. You can see how this is an important level if we look at the price action over the last couple of weeks and then back again here in February. We did get up to 82 in today's session but just pull back a little bit if we do get to 81 or 82 perhaps there's a move up on the cards to around about 87 which would represent a seven percent move to the upside in fx markets we're looking once again at the euro aussie you can see there some euro strength today we did get stuck at this level at 169.80 at the back end of last week, you can see that this was closed both on Thursday and Friday. We are having another attempt at a breach of this, although we've had two failure attempts on those last two days of last week. If you look at the hourly chart, you can see that price action. Here's Thursday, here's Friday. So we're really looking for a close price on an hourly chart above this 170.37 to suggest some more buying pressure coming in. Want to keep an eye on perhaps after that German PPI is released and into this evening's session. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.